as long as the lights are out. Roaches will do whatever they want to do in your town. But the minute you cut the light on, roaches will fly, roaches will run. They ask you why Al Sharpton come to Cleveland, tell them I'm a roachologist. Well, that was... Reverend Dal Sharpton speaking Friday at a church in Cleveland, the site of the 2016 Republican National Convention. The cable news host using a house of worship to simultaneously attack police, criticize Republicans, advocate for the Democrats, organize street protests, and promote his MSNBC broadcast all in one. All at the request of a tax-exempt group, the NAACP. I spoke about this with Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano moments ago. So the NAACP invites him. He speaks in a church. He right. does basically everything you can do uh, to undermine the Republicans who will be going there, including announcing his little rally he's going to have against them. And I, I can't, uh, like, how many ethical problems has he created? Well, he's created some ethical problems and even some legal problems. I mean, the NAACP is tax exempt. The government gives it the ability to exempt its donors from paying taxes on the donations they make to it. Mm -hmm. The same is presumably the case, I don't know this to be so, but the same is presumably the case with the church in Cleveland, where he was standing in the, in the clip you just ran, and from the pulpit in which he was speaking. So the question is, how far can he go to violate the IRS regulations? Because the NAACP and the church voluntarily waived their First Amendment privileges to advocate for legislation or for and against candidates that's where in return in for that tax you, exempt status. That's where he gets, and or not him, but they would get in trouble. Exactly. So the rules say you cannot, to maintain your tax exempt status, if you're the NAACP, you cannot directly or indirectly participate in the opposition of any candidate for office. Now you tell me whether he sounds like he is opposing a candidate for office. Here's another soundbite. I'm talking about Jeb Bush and Scott Walker and the rest of them running that's going to come up in here and think they're going to have four or five days of convention. We're going to have another convention outside. Now that's where he, know. well that's where he's wearing his MSNBC hat and not his, I'm standing on a tax exempt pulpit speaking to an organization that sent its folks here using tax exempt funds hat mm -hmm. because he really made a mistake by mentioning names. I think the IRS would leave him alone, would leave the NAACP alone, again I, I don't mean to say him, he can yeah. say what he wants, right. would leave the NAACP and the church alone if he sort of pushed in their direction, we want a government that's Which more the responsive. The NAACP has been doing for years Correct. now. They Correct. were investigated by the Bush administration back in 2004 for similar behavior. And exonerated. It, and it, not exonerated, but they were not prosecuted. Okay, they, they didn't lose, he, I should say, not prosecuted. They didn't lose their status. When he mentions names, he should have consulted lawyers first because that's what would cause the IRS if we had a neutral IRS interested in enforcing the law neutrally well, that's where and I fairly to, go. to investigate. That's where I yeah. wanted to go. This is the same IRS who investigated all of these these groups, you know, these Tea Party linked groups, these conservative groups, these other groups, because it smelled a rat. It said, we think you're getting too political just based on your name, Al based Sharp on the fact that you stand for freedom. And this guy get, can get up there and the NAACP can sponsor it. Well, and he, the odds of there being any investigation into that are zippo. Correct. And he knows that. He understands that. The Obama uh, IRS is not going to investigate the NAACP or that church in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. So he will make the most of that situation to draw attention to himself and his legitimately held beliefs mm -hmm. uh, in an effort to gin up those beliefs in the face of the uh, Republican National Convention, which is what he's talking about uh, That's good. So, so at least the, the, you know, the four viewers of MSNBC will know exactly what they're getting when Al Sharpton is out there on election night. Fair and impartial. How and many somebody, viewers did you say? I don't know, four. I, mean, I may have now. overstated it by one or two. 
two. Uh, just kidding. You know what, just, they have a few more. He's a character and he's fun to watch. But when he starts mentioning names, political names that he wants these groups to oppose, I don't he's know. Really pushing. Can I the tell envelope. you? I, I I think you're going to get a lot of pushback on he's a fun character to watch because I think he's done real damage with that. The stuff he was saying about the police and he went on to hit the police again here. Very very about bad. how D Officer Wilson was in no fear for his life, a fact that was not true, and the well, DOJ disproved him on. He's, he's really caused some havoc. In that case, he's making up facts, and sometimes he does that. Great to see you. Good to be with see you, you Judge.